Hey guys, it's Wednesday Night Warrior. I'm Spencer. Sorry I missed last week. Crazy stuff happened with the podcast where we recorded two in two days. Neither of them went up. It was crazy. It was crazy stuff. Um, I got to play some Magic this week. Played some Team of Black at a PPTQ. Played against Rally three times. It was so many times. Um, but this week, I want to talk about spoilers. Uh, Wednesday Night Warrior is this, for those who don't know, because it's the third one, it's basically a video blog. It's like me talking whatever I want to talk about. And uh, yeah, this week I want to talk about spoilers. Uh, I got a chance to play with some of them today. I'm excited. I get to talk about kind of my initial impressions and you guys can let me know what you think. So we're going to get started right into Shadows of Adventure Time. We're going to get this going. So first one we have is Game Trail. I want to talk about the full cycle and kind of um, so what these are. So these are the new lands from Shadow of Innistrad. You can see here, um, probably this way. I think they'll be that way. If you look in this this area. Um, yeah, so Game Trail is... We're going to read Game Trail to you. So Game Trail says, As Game Trail enters the battlefield, you may reveal a mountain or a forest card from your hand. If you don't, Game Trail enters the battlefield tapped. And then it taps for a green or a red. So here's basically the breakdown. So I see these cards. I see the blue black one, I think it was. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this card is so good. And then I thought, wait, isn't it actually that good with Battlelands? Because then your Battlelands enter the battlefield tap. So like the interaction is sweet, but like not as sweet as it could be. And then I thought about it more and I was like, well, also if you top deck these, they come into battlefield tapped. So like they're not that good of a top deck. So a lot of things, a lot of things were thought about. Um, so what what does that mean? What is what does that mean for these lands overall? Um, I got to play with them today. I thought that they were better than I was thinking at the end of it, but not as good as I originally thought when I saw the card spoiled. Overall, I think that they're going to be pretty powerful in standard. Like they're probably really powerful two color lands and pretty decent in three color decks. Um, Overall, like, I think you're going to be happy to play these, and I think they'll make an impact on standard. Uh, but I, I don't know. Like, I, my, I, it was this steady decline that happened when I was reading the cards. Also, shout out to West, who made fun of my glasses last time. Sorry, I didn't want to put in my contacts. We're wearing glasses again today. Say hello to the glare. Um, but like, where where these will land as far as like how many of these you play could be different. Like. Two color decks, they're probably gonna play four. Three color decks, they could play two. They could play three. I don't know. I don't think that they'll play four. Um, but yeah, it's very interesting. I got the chance to play with them today. They came into play untapped a lot, and I didn't even have that many basic lands. So, I mean, I had a lot of battle lands, and that just made these come into play tapped. It made your early plays relevant, and then your battle lands come to play tapped sometimes. And like, it's interesting because like you would play a battle land tapped turn one or you can play this tap turn one so it's like it's this it's this tug and pull and that makes deck building interesting that makes finding the correct man base rewarding and things like that so i think that those could be great um i want to move on to some interesting cards that i'm sure you guys have already talked about with your friends we're gonna talk about them together oh yeah this one this is the one we're gonna talk about uh air of falconrath so this card uh, let's just, let's read the front side. Um, so it is a black and one for a 2-1. Discard a card, transform air, Falcon Lath. Activate this ability once each turn. Only once each turn. So if they, like, gut shot it, and you activate it, and then they gut shot it again, it still dies. But it flips into a 3-2 flying vampire. Um, so I saw this card, and people were saying, like, oh, it's going to be modern playable it's so good and i was like yeah whatever it's, it's fine people called it the new delver and then playing today i played jund versus black red vampire madness and here is the card that made me wonder Falconrath Gorger has one red for a 2-1 Vampire Berserker. Each vampire creature you cast, uh, each card you own, that isn't on the battlefield has madness. The madness cost is equal to its mana cost. So, 
uh, this card was really good in this deck, um, making other cards very powerful. One thing that I saw that was that kind of felt broken was turn one this, turn two this, activate, discard this, play it for its madness cost. Um, you would think, oh, Spencer, that's like magical Christmas land. But like there's a lot of vampires in this set in red black and uh, it was not that uncommon to have, like, this guy and this guy in play at once and some other vampire that it didn't matter which one. Like, obviously, we're taking Olivia here. For those who don't know, Olivia mobilized for war is a red, a black, and one for a 3-3 three, three flying legendary vampire knight. And she says, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may discard a card. If you do, put a 1-1 one, one counter on the creature and it gains haste until end of turn. Uh it becomes a vampire in addition to its other types. Man! What a card! What a card! <laughs> um, this card is, was pretty good. <laughs> uh, lots of, lots of uh, interactions. You know, discarding... You know, you play a guy... You discard a, another vampire. You get to play that vampire for its madness cost because of this card. Um, you know this card's discarded stuff. It, it was it was quite quite intense. I I think that we that that we found level zero guys. I think that if you're gonna start, <laughs> it's kind of like the black green zombies deck that uh, Jerry T and Brad Nelson found back in Ravnica uh, in a shot standard. I think this this is level zero. This is this is the beginning of of the standard format is is this starting point of these cards and it was very powerful i think that i was impressed it looked great like you could uh play uh the the madness lightning bolt like tons of cards it was pretty good um olivia mobilized for war was better than i, I thought when i read it i was like oh that's cute and then playing against her i'm like oh wow she's she's really good like giving haste is very powerful it makes it so that later in the game, like, your cards just are always live. Like, your draws are very good. They, they enter the battlefield. You can hold lands in your aggro deck to discard to give your other guys haste and plus one, plus one, so that they have an impact on the board rather than just being lands. Like, it overall, these three cards together, like, formed very powerful synergies. Um, there's another vampire that's black that has madness by itself. It's two to cast. Um, it's a three-one. That card was also very powerful. Um, yeah, so I would recommend if you're uh, looking to like start, this is a great starting point. Uh, check it out. Now we get to talk about my favorite card so far in the set. Arlen Cord is two, a green, and a red. It's a planeswalker that comes to play with three toughness. You can plus one to give a creature plus two, plus two, haste and vigilance, and you can, you can uh, zero to put a 2-2 wolf into play and flip it. And it flips into uh, Arlen Embraced by the Moon. This one you can plus one to give all your creatures plus one plus one and trample. Minus one to Lightning Bolt and then flip her back. Or you can minus six to get an emblem. Creatures you control you have tap, deal damage, target creature, player equal to their power. Uh, man oh man was this card fun to play with today. Uh, the plus one ability was very, very good. You know, giving giving vigilance and plus two plus two on your guys, just made them humongoid and uh, had an immediate impact on the board. If you already had a creature play, um, overall it was really impressive. I was even playing against Blackguard Empires, where I think Arlen Court isn't at her best, and she still won a lot of games. I think that the you know in a lot of matchups, putting that that wolf into play and protecting her. Um, and then getting able to like pump your team or lightning bolt something, flip her back. Like, I think that she's going to be able to flip back and forth in some matchups and really take over the game, kind of like how Master of the Fells did. And I, I think she'll do the impressions of that. And then other times she'll be better, where she'll you know p push push through damage with uh, the plus two plus two and protect herself. You know, you don't get the life gain right away, which is something that you know, Huntmaster was pretty. It was pretty relevant in that two life and. 
Uh, you know, I think that you'll be missing that, and the life that you'll gain from this will be when this dies because it'll be being attacked or it will be um, being dealt damage. But overall, I was pretty impressed with the card. Um, I'm excited to try it. I'm not. I tried it in Jun today. I'm not sure if it belongs in Naya regular green red Jund. I even have a rug deck with it. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to try this card out. You don't have to do a lot to convince me to play green red planeswalker. I literally played all of them. So, anyway, those are some of the spoilers that I'm excited about. Leave a comment with the spoilers that you like and why you like them, and uh, start a conversation. You know, be kind to each other and let everybody know what you think and what you're excited to play with and what you think could have an impact on Standard or maybe other formats. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to uh, check out the Patreon page at patreon.com slash ccmtg, and uh, we'll see you guys all in the podcast or the testing videos or the stream that's coming back. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye.